Kai says good morning. I said good morning too. Good morning. This is Grandma Rose. It is almost 8 o'clock in the morning and I have already been out for about an hour. The, the dew hasn't dried off yet. It's in the steps. Oh, you can look on the... I've actually been washing my hands off in the grass. It's still too wet to come through here. I see a couple of beans I missed yesterday. You see this? Yeah, I, miss, I missed a few beans. And when the, when the leaves dry off, I'll come back through here and I will pick any beans that are, that are really big that I missed yesterday. But I really shouldn't be picking more than every other day. That's just, that's just too much. It's a little excessive. As long as I have gotten the beans that are a good size off at that point. So, here's a couple of beans right here that, that need to go into the pan to be processed today because I didn't do that yesterday. I'm waiting for a, cute, a few days to, to get enough to do up the whole, the whole pressure cooker load. Pressure cooker, no, pressure canner load. I'll probably do a few, uh, more than one thing together because I have a small garden. Uh, so what I have been doing, it's too wet. Yeah, too wet to really pick anything. But I want to fess up. You know that term, fess up. I do have some things in my garden that are looking great, like the beans. And you see this dog, crazy. Look at this, look at this. Watch. This is what he does. He has his path that he runs through. And he's really not hurting anything. He's, he's not, not barreling over plants. He's coming between rows, which is fine. It gives him some exercise and I'm not killing him for it. But I, I wanted to show you some stuff. Because I had, I think we tend to do that as YouTubers, as gardeners. We want to show off our good stuff. Uh-oh, he just knocked a green tomato off a plant. Had a couple of chickens come in here in the garden yesterday. They got over the fence, and now he is, he's found a green tomato, look at this. And he's gonna eat the green tomato. He can have the little green tomato. However, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about blight. Here's the tips of my tomatoes, and don't they look nice? Beautiful, look at this. That is so pretty. Look at that, isn't that healthy? Look right down here. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Healthy, right? Right there, yuck. And down there, yuck. I've got blight, and I am continuing to prune these these tomatoes up, cut off the, the, the blight, and hope that they'll continue to get taller and outgrow it. And I'm, I'm getting tomatoes. I mean, look right in there. Can you see those tomatoes that haven't ripened yet? I and mean, that looks pretty good, and they will continue to produce. But I'm not having a good garden year. This is not a good year for me. I see a weed that I'm gonna get in a minute. But again, here, I had to pull out all the zucchini that, that were in this area because of squash bugs. I'm looking over there at this yellow squash that looks like it may have dog damage, perhaps, or maybe squash bugs. I'm gonna check on that. I have a feeling it's the dog stomping on it. I guess next year I will fence off this garden, but it's too late for this year. Next year, what is this trellis right here? We're, it's gonna go all the way across and it's gonna become a fence. That's next year. This year, here's the tops of my, oh, look how pretty. That's the, the tops of my cucumbers. Yuck. This is awful. I remember in the spring, I was so proud of these these um, cucumbers when they first started coming up. I had a double layer of wire to keep the chickens out. I hadn't finished my fence. And yes, I still get an occasional chicken in here, but I don't have the whole flock. So it's not as bad as it was. They do fly. They can fly over the fence. But yeah, look at this. This is really, really bad. 
So I want today. I wanted to show you the bad. There's the bad. Um, I guess that's the worst of the bad. This area here. I, the, the thing is, it's so bad. I'm not spending a whole lot of time canning. I'm not spending a whole lot of time picking my veggies and and processing it to put up because I don't have enough. So instead, I'm weeding. I have time to weed. And here's another green green tomato that got knocked off right there. A little green, little bitty green tomato. Not quite golf ball size. This is more ping pong ball size. And what happened over here? Oh, well, it looks like the dog has run rampant, doesn't it? This is what happens when you've got a dog running through the garden. And like I said, next year this entire garden is going to be fenced. This year the entire garden is not fenced, and it needs to be. So yeah, I will pick up the dead leaves, put them in the compost, and the tips of the plants are still okay, they're still producing sadness right here. But it is just leaves. There's a piece of this plant right here that has gotten knocked off. It's broken. It's pulled up. Okay, that's that looked like it was dead to begin with. I'm going to throw that over in the compost. That's the compost. just right over there on the other side of the fence. I do that. You've seen me do that. So, yeah. Um... Nothing looks good except for the basil and the beans. That squash right there looks great. And the dog has not killed that yet. I'm going to have some baby squash in there. There's the one that I showed the other day. It has the baby squash on it. Or else that's another one. And the bees are working on it, which is fabulous. That's what we want. We want the bees and the squash. So there's a pile of some weeds right there that I've just pulled up. It gives me a chance to pull up weeds. One thing I cannot pull up is this. I'm having a, a thing with, with that, with that nightshade. And there, through the garden, this right here, that weed right there is Smilax, and it's got thorns on it. So the only thing I can do with those is actually come through and cut it, or dig it. Now I wanted to show you this grass right here that I've already pulled up. I think, I've got, I, think I have most of this already pulled up. I do, I do, I hope I do. But look at this, do you see this? Pretty good sized grass. But look in here at the base of it. Do you see that pink, that red? That's Johnson grass. You've got to get that out while it's little, otherwise it's a real mess. So I have Johnson grass trying to grow in my garden, and if I don't keep on top of it, my garden is going to be a horrible mess. Let's come over here and look at, at, the, at the herbs. This is catnip, and it is flowered, and I need, I need to cut that back. When I cut it back, it'll, it'll bush back out again, and it'll, it'll look nice. Now in here, in, in my herbs, I have some weeds. These are not too bad. I mean, it doesn't look great, but this weed right here, that is one little plant. See that? Well, no, two little plants. Pull that up, and then here's this little one right here. And there you go. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. That ant right there, do you see that ant? That's a fire ant. Keep watch on that one. I don't know where the hill is. But yeah, keep that out. There's a little piece, little piece of crabgrass right there. There we go. Here's another piece of crabgrass and some more, some more of that little that plant that's, that's easy to get. This pile right here I've already done this morning. All I have left, I need to come back through here. I'll show you where I have. And I've cleaned out the grass from my yarrow. It's still a little bit right here. Whoop, that's, that's something I've already pulled up. So yeah, I've cleaned up the yarrow. There's a little bit of, this is nutgrass. A little, little sedge that's coming up in that. I don't know if it's nutgrass actually. It's just a little sedge. This right here is one piece of crabgrass. 
that up. See, it's not going to take long to do this. And today is actually going to be a nice day. The high is in the 80s today, so this is going to be a good day for me to get out and finish weeding. There's not an, an enormous amount of weeding. But I showed you the little nightshade plant. This one right here. Woo, howdy. Yeah, this one definitely, I'm going to have to put, put leather gloves on, otherwise I will not be able to pull that up at all. And my comfrey, my goodness, look at this. I know it's supposed to get the kind of comfrey that does not go to seed. It's the better, the better idea. But I didn't know that last year when I bought it. And it's really, it's really a beautiful plant. It looks like it's in the borage family. Not sure. It's got flowers like that. I'll check that out and see. I think it might be in Borogenesi. And if I don't watch out, it's going to reseed itself everywhere. But in the meantime, it's pretty. Well, I guess I probably should cut those flower stalks off of it and let it continue to put up vegetative growth instead of flowers. Over in here, looks like a little green ground cover down in there. Looks like strawberries. That's not strawberries. That's blackberries. Let me get that out. Don't want that in here. And there's some other things back in here, but it's not bad. Most of this is, is, is herbs, and I'm happy with that. I'm seeing elderberry come up where I don't want the elderberry, so I'll have to cut that back, like right in here. There's a spot of, of some more of this um, sedge and this other little plant that should be easy to clean up. That's really the only spot that, I've, that I haven't gotten to yet. But this right here, coming in here, blackberries right there, that's an elderberry. I don't want that elderberry there. With some grapevine wrapped around it, no, I don't want the grapevine right there either. So I need to cut that back. But like I said, today is going to be beautiful. It's going to be in the 80s today, so I'll have a good chance to get in here and get some good work done in my herb garden. Not much going on in the rest of the garden, but I can do some weeding in my herb garden today, so today is not a total failure. Give y'all a little bit of encouragement. This Celosia pretty. This is the Celosia. That's an amaranth. It's a celosia is, is in the amaranth family. Um, pretty flowers, but actually, I suppose it'll also give you the same kind of seeds that amaranth does. Right there, a little tree. You see a little tree growing up? That's a little pecan tree. I've cut it down several times and it keeps coming back from the roots. I don't want a pecan tree growing there. I have enough pecan trees that aren't producing. So yeah, there's more elderberry right there. And since I don't want the elderberries to be grown there, I'm going to move them next year. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them back. It's not gonna hurt them. They'll, they'll bush back out again, but they're not gonna shade the rest of my garden in the meantime. So next year, in the spring, I will mark these. In fact, this fall, I'll put some marker tape on them and mark where they are, and then I will get down and Next spring, I will dig them out and I'll move them someplace. Right now, though, they need to come out. Right there, right there behind that, that birdhouse is another little pecan tree. That's gotta come out. It's been cut down to the ground several times and it keeps coming back. And they grow quickly. One thing that is good, this is a little blueberry right here. And look at this new growth on it. That's all new growth from this year. What is that, two, three feet at least? Yeah, that's at least three feet of new growth. It came, it came from the base right down there. So that's good. So we have take the good with, take the bad with the good, I suppose. A lot of bad, a lot of failure. I'm happy with failure. But some years are like that, and I'm sorry that I'm having one of those years. <coughs> The dog was talking to somebody. Don't know who. I don't hear another dog barking. Uh, right over here. Ooh, I see a big piece of grass right there. Piece of grass. That's silly. Right, right here in um, my catnip. It's a big. It's a big grass. It's 
see what kind of grass that is. I have a feeling that might be the Johnson grass. Yep, look at that. See the tip of pink on it? That's Johnson grass. And it grows really quickly. It's not that hard to pull up when it's still relatively small like that. It has that has not that has not spread too bad. Johnson grass is it grows from a rhizome. I think most of you know maybe you don't know. Rhiz a rhizome is not a root. A rhizome is an underground stem. So instead of the stem laying across the, uh, across the top of the ground, the stem actually grows under the ground and then it spr you know, sprouts back out along, along the nodes, along the leaf nodes. And that's why it spreads so badly. So there's some Johnson grass right there and I see right through here again. Right in here, there's, I don't want to touch that, there's a bumblebee on that. Right there, see a little bumblebee? Right there at the ground. Here's the ground down in there. There's, no, there's some more Johnson grass right there. Now come in here, cut this back. Trim this back hard. And um, get this get this uh, catnip to grow to grow again to make it look pretty. It's, it makes a nice edging here. And a couple of times during the year I will cut it back hard and, and then dehydrate it. And yeah, clean, clean out the little weed trees and do some good weeding, and that's my project for the day. So there you go, y'all. I'm heading back to the house.